Welcome back. Deaths involving pedestrians are up 46% over the past decade, according to a new report. That trend continued during the pandemic, even though fewer drivers were out on the roads. KION's Max Tarleton has more in tonight's Message Max. During the pandemic, pedestrian deaths have been on the rise. Back in November, an elderly woman in Missouri was crossing the street to vote when she was hit by a car. She later died at the hospital. Instances like that are happening more and more around the country. A preliminary report from the Governor's Highway Safety Association found the pedestrian fatality rate rose 20% in the first six months of 2020. It's disconcerting. It's frustrating. It's a, a whole variety of, of emotions that we're dealing with. Pam Shadle Fisher from the GHSA says even though people drove less because of lockdowns, wide open roads led to an increase in speeding. What we're seeing out there is just this uptick in risky behaviors. That includes drunk driving reported in nearly half of fatal pedestrian accidents. Police in San Diego say last week a man under the influence there hit and killed at least three people. I look at infrastructure. We need better lighting so pedestrians are more visible. Safety advocates also want to see more sidewalks and more places for people to cross so they aren't running through traffic. So it's a comprehensive approach that we truly need to really address this problem. Changes that could make the roads safer for everyone. Here in Salinas, police yesterday cracking down on speeding in neighborhoods, catching drivers going 45 in a 25 mile per hour zone. Max Tarleton, KION News Channel 546.